Okay, we're going to be on the draw. Keeping this. Into the battlefield, target opponent discards, and we lose two life. Okay, so I guess we'll dip one of our six drops there. Get in with the guide. Play the vine mare. And pass. Okay. So we can switch a roo, but it's not that valuable for us. So we probably just attack with a vine mare. Yeah, I can switch a roo. And also patient rebuilding, because they can equip the axe to this now. But then we can smash back with guide, too. And we're definitely ahead on the race right now. I think I'm going to go patient rebuilding for now. Hmm, okay. Graveyard Marshal is great. So, we're kind of fueling that with patient rebuilding, but we're also drawing three cards, which is absolutely insane. All right. Let's get in there. I mean, I don't really want to switch a Rue because then it gives them a blocker for the Vine Mare, but. We'll have to see here. Shield Mayor can't be blocked by red creatures. And then if it becomes a target of a spell or ability, they gain three. All right. Oh, and we lose one. Synergy. Still attacking, so we can rabid bite the 4-4, four, four, and then they can't block our... Uh, thing too well anyway. Oh, I guess with that they can, huh? Okay. What, what, what is Lena? Oh yeah, that card's so good. <laughs> okay. Well, we can Vivian read and blow up their Marauder's Axe. That's pretty good with me.
So I guess they can block like that, and then I just can only do one thing. Maybe I was supposed to rapid bite too, huh? Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to kill the flyer here. So yeah, I should have uh <laughs> I should have uh rabid bitten the Epicure and I could have attacked with Dreadmaw and uh Vine Mare. They do intertapped, right? Yeah, okay. If I had done that, it would have forced them to, I guess, just chump with the shield mare. What's this do? You gain five or more life. Oh, yeah, that card's sweet. So, I'll steal the angel. We'll switch a roo. Oh. Jeez. Golem, thank you. All right. So, black white they look a little more aggressive, don't they? Good rares in there. So I could do the counter spells. Um, maybe I'm supposed to be main decking essence scatter instead of disperse. I could see that actually. Kind of makes uh, makes sense rather. Let's see. Well, patient rebuilding was nuts. Jeez. This is about as good as I had thought it would be. We can lower our creature count even more. I don't really like that. I think we'll just do the one essence scatter because we can always, like I said, steal their bombs if we have to. Problem is, their bombs are good for their deck, but not so good for ours. Either way, I think we're fine. We have removal for their stuff. Let's see if they, they want to play first. Oh, that's cool. That works well with their vampire. Hmm. Blood is a pretty strong one. Vivian's good, though. Okay. We'll 
Souls is good too, but we need to get it down first. Once I do, though, we can just eat all their flyers, which is pretty, pretty beneficial. If our wolves lives, that is, but I'm hopeful that they do. I'm hopeful I draw land here too. Mm, Browner's Axe. It's good. So we'll play the Wolves. See, see if it lives. If it doesn't, I guess we can Vivian read, but that's less good. Okay. Well, good news is got a couple rabbit bites. Bad news is taking a lot of damage here. Actually, yeah, we're not dead, actually. We're fine. Two cards left in their hand. Okay, okay. So let's go... Can switch a roo as well. That's less good, though. We need to kill all these things, so... We'll kill the... I suppose we kill the highest damage output because we are low on life. So we'll kill the... Although they'd have to pay to re-equip. And we don't die either way. Hmm. Okay. We'll go... Although one life if they have that vampire is pretty... It's ca Corsair is just better, though, than Blood Litter. That's kind of another thing. So we'll kill the Corsair, and I think we'll kill the Angel of the Dawn. I guess we'll attack for four here. I could switch a roo too, but no, it's a pretty good opportunity to bust the Vivian Reed. Okay, so we'll go to game three here. Or game two, rather. Or game three. Game three. Uh, do we have any anti flyer cards? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. I really wish I f had a way to fit that. Essence scatter in there. I just don't. That's the problem. I just do not. All right, we're gonna get rid of Wall of Mist for one. Gives us less creatures than I feel comfortable with, especially given that we have a double switcheroo. But I just I can't deal with the flyers. All right, we're gonna play second. Hmm. I'm gonna keep this. He needs some help, but we're gonna risk it.
I just realized this, that's kind of cool actually because it can affect your opponent's creatures. So you can turn, yeah, actually this card is good. I'm sure someone will mention that in the comments, but yeah. Making your opponent's card bad is pretty slick too. I guess we'll get rid of a seven drop. It doesn't seem particularly realistic that the game will come to that. Okay. All right, so still need a green mana. So we may need to alteration our opponent's Angel of the Dawn. No, I, well, does that make sense? It probably doesn't. Into the line breaker is what I was thinking. We take the same amount of damage, but we don't uh, we don't have to deal with a flyer later. But I guess we have Vivian Reed, so basically just need a green mana here. So we'll play the Druid. Can I afford to take six here? That's another question. Maybe I do need to alteration the Angel to preserve damage for next turn when I play the Thornhide Wolves. What does it let you do again? It's like everything's indestructible if you sack it. Creatures with power less than it. I guess that's not busted or anything. All right, so we'll play the wolves and pass. Equal to or less than or less than? Okay, so can't make the line breaker indestructible here. All right, see you in round, what are we up to, four now? Not sure, I forgot. What are we up to? Round four, we'll see you then.